Today's the big day that Tucker Carlson will be releasing his interview with Vladimir Putin. Now, there's a lot of folks out there that are pretty upset about this. Let me remind you, Barbara Walters, she says that one of her most memorable interviews when she sat down with the El Camarante, that's right, Fidel Castro, to report on news. And to get the other side, Tucker Carlson is doing his job. He is doing his duty, not only as an American journalist, but to really get down to the bottom of the Russia and Ukraine war that we are all very much invested in. U.S. taxpayers deserve to know what's going on. We also deserve answers. Because we haven't gotten these answers from our own leaders in government. We've been sending billions upon billions upon billions of dollars to while parading Zelensky around Capitol Hill and Washington, D.C. and perhaps wherever he's been doing fundraisers in the United States of America. Let's not forget, Barbara Walters has repeatedly said Fidel Castro was one of her most memorable interviews of her career. Fidel Castro spent 47 years in power. Cubans suffered under the tyranny that he imposed. He's a Marxist, Leninist, Cuban nationalist uh, who served as the first secretary of the Communist Party of Cuba. He punished those who thought differently than himself. He jailed political opponents. He closed down newspapers with alternative political perspectives. The native-born Cuban leader limited his citizens' free speech and punished those who valued their voice more than their safety. He also legalized physically abusive tactics on politically divergent individuals. Those who questioned or criticized the way Castro ran his government were often imprisoned, denied access to medical care, suffered beatings, and entered solitary confinement. In 2003, Castro executed his methods on a larger scale when 75 people, human rights activists, journalists, and trade unionists received his abusive tactics following their outspoken criticism of the Cuban government. Additionally, Castro did not let human rights organizations even enter Cuba. Castro treated many people inhumanely, and he refused human rights organizations entry into the country. Without access to the country, organizations such as the International Committee of the Red Cross were unable to work toward improving the harsh realities of the Cuban people, and inhumane practices went on without consequence. Castro refused to hold elections while in office. Castro remained in power for almost five decades, and this was partly due to his refusal to leave power. Nobody was legally able to run against Castro unless they shared his political perspective because he placed a ban on multi-party elections after self-proclaiming himself a socialist. This meant that he was able to enforce its inhumane policies for decades. And the economic strain was long-lasting. Arbitrary arrest and detention, beating, acts of repudiation, and government surveillance are still used today, according to the Human Rights Watch. Barbara Walters quoted, He was very charismatic, very charming, and funny. Whatever happened to freedom of speech and freedom of the press, it is all clearly stated right here in the Constitution. You may want to pick it up and read the First Amendment. The journey uh, that Tucker Carlson is on in Russia, it has definitely sparked discussions about the potential repercussions he may face upon returning to the U.S., there's even some organizations calling for his arrest when he lands back here in the United States. This doesn't seem right to me as a journalist. Perhaps there's some folks out there that are going to be afraid of the truth. I don't know what this interview is going to bring about tonight, but I know that the world will be watching.
The moral of the story here is that American journalists have been traveling the globe for generations, interviewing foreign leaders and presidents. And this is no different than what Tucker Carlson is doing tonight with Vladimir Putin. Whether it's uh, Fidel Castro or, I don't know, Yasser Arafat or Vladimir Putin, mm -hmm. um, you're not, when you're in it, you're not there to judge. You're there to get your questions answered, and the way to do it for me is to uh, counter it, attack maybe, but, but not to challenge. This, this, this is not a why did you, how come? You know, I didn't do that. This is the Today with Tally podcast.